Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Ryan Garcia says, why wait? He wants Tank Davis now. Stay tuned. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing if you want to become part of the gang gang. Notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats channel donations, the Venmo donations, and the Patreon family we work in. Shout out to Yahoo Sports, Kevin Ioli. He had an interview. It was like a split screen interview with Ryan Garcia. Link is in the description. It's on his YouTube channel. And Ryan Garcia said some interesting things. I'm going to paraphrase. I'm not going to read the quotes verbatim. Again, if you want to check it out, check the link in the description. They talked about a variety of different things. Ryan Garcia said in this interview that he's going to come back a little bit, a few weeks before the Canelo Triple G2 fight. So he's not going to be on the undercard. He's going to have his own fight. I think it was September 1st. He's going to headline his own main event, similar to what he did when he stepped up against veteran Jason Velez at the StubHub Center. He was the main event there. So it looks like they're going to do another. I don't know what the venue is going to be, but it looks like they're going to do another type of fight card like that for him. They're really trying to push him, showcase him. And that should have been a learning fight for him. Going in there with the veteran who hadn't been stopped and battling some adversity and finding out you can't stop everybody. So that should have been a good look for him since he's young, only 19 years old. Now he talked about Gervonta Tank Davis and he says he's ready now. He wants to fight Tank now. He doesn't see the reason to wait. He says Gervonta Tank Davis is an aggressive fighter, but if he sticks to keeping his range and different things like that, then he says he, he can beat Gervonta Tank Davis and he can beat him easy. He's not, he's not really worried about it. So I want to know your thoughts about that. Kevin Ioli also asked about other people they said, what about your rivalry with Devin Haney? He said that would be a, a huge build-up fight that we could build. We had a rivalry in the amateurs where we kind of went back and forth. He beat me, I beat him. I think they fought five or six times, and not one guy won everyone. Devin Haney won some, and he won some. So he's saying that's a big fight. Sounds like every time I hear Ryan Garcia, he respects Devin Haney's fight game because sometimes he talks about other people. He doesn't sound as impressed, but when it comes to Devin Haney, he says, man, I've known this kid since we were eight or nine, and it's always a war. It's always, you know, back and forth. When we were scheduled to fight, we would always be the, the last remaining people in the competitions. And when we were scheduled, people would show up because they knew. They knew what it was going to be. Now, the other one was Teofimo Lopez, who's outspoken. He's making a name for himself with Top Rank. Kevin Ioli says, hey, if Top Rank positioned um, their fighter and propositioned golden boy and said hey you want to move up ryan garcia to 135 would you do it and he says yeah i'm not really worried i don't see anything too special about teofimo lopez so let's get it we could fight i would move up for something like that and he said he didn't see nothing too special about lopez and then kevin ioli sounded a little bit taken back like oh wow oh because i i rated him prospect of the year i thought he was you know i thought i think he's pretty good and then Ryan Garcia kind of nonchalant about it. So you guys watch it. The, the part about Tank, I think, could be realistic because they're already in the same class. It doesn't require moving up a division, anything like that. They're both at 130. So that's a, a big fight that they can build. I really don't see Golden Boy making that. As much as it sounds like Ryan Garcia is, is down for it right now and wants it, it I don't see it. Because even Kevin Ioli in this interview, he said something to the effect of, how would you deal with someone like Tank Davis? Because he has experience factor as a pro on his side. He's a two-time champion, whereas he has a better resume than you. And you don't have some of those things. You're just, you know what I mean, on your journey. And then he kind of talked about establishing range and different things like that. So unfortunately, I think it would take a little while to build up to that fight. Oscar De La Hoya has an interview. I believe it's on ES News. And he said that, oh, Tank's a beast. I would love to promote him. He was like, um... He even said something to the fact that he wouldn't he wouldn't make that. It, he said Tank Davis is a beast or an animal or something like that. And he said Ryan Garcia is not ready. That was Oscar's word. So, I mean, if the own promoter who's, you know, what I mean, the person behind it and the founder and stuff, if he's saying he's not ready, then it doesn't really matter how much the fighter feels he's ready because the man who's kind of like 
advising and dictating the career. Doesn't sound like he's going to reach out to Mayweather Promotions. I did see Tank Davis respond on Twitter. He said this kid, like basically this kid better leave me alone because this is not what you want. You're not ready for me. You know what I mean? And I think he even said it after the Jason Velez performance. So I like Ryan Garcia. I like his attitude. I like his demeanor. I like his confidence. But some people feel it's too premature. He feels he's ready. So we'll see. We'll see what Oscar De La Hoya decides to do. But the way they're giving him his own main event and not putting him on the Canelo undercard, I think they feel they have something they can build from. So they're trying to make him, make sure he's adequate and fully prepared for a dangerous fight. I mean, even Ryan Garcia in this interview admitted that Tank is an aggressive fighter and stuff like that so i don't see oscar making it despite how much ryan garcia wants it but let me know how the fight will play off to you drop your thoughts in the comment section make sure you smash the like button as always hate comment and subscribe to next video's ego son so if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel you can show your appreciation by going to the paypal donate button or the youtube support button and you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video much more to come thank you guys for your support boxing ego the future of boxing